Hey guys, like here. Quick review, uh, unboxing and setup of a utility card, card by Bevor. It's something like you see back there that I got a while ago from Hubber Freight. But this one has the walls, so it's a great garden card, uh, you know, for hauling wood around or whatever. So I'm gonna open this up, show you guys what's inside, set it up and test it out. Let's do it. All right. And they have these in 500, 900, 1200, and I believe 1400 um, uh, capacity. So, manual. That's what we're setting up. I believe, yeah, this is the 500 pound version. I think it was like a little bit over $80. Rubber tray. Let's see what this is for. Solid metal, mesh, wire, also metal. Wheels are 10 inch. Looks good. So far everything feels nice and solid, no flimsy parts. So it's not a huge cart, but it's perfect for the garden. That's all the hardware, two clips. Couple bolts, and that's it. Set this thing up. All right, so you're gonna need a 19 and a 14 millimeter wrench or a socket. And we are going to start with the two big bolts. This is gonna be the moving steering section. We're gonna attach this to it. Yeah. Put our washers on. Now we're gonna attach it to the body. So take your base upside down, front, back, two bolts here, one bolt here. I'm gonna put one of the big washers here. Slide this on, not the big washer, and tighten it down. So you wanna make it just tight enough so you have movement, but it's not loose. Now, back. Same idea. This we tighten it all the way. The setup is done. Now we pump the wheels on. You pump these up to 20, 30 PSI. Make sure that your um, nozzles are on the outside. And you just slide on. We get these little pins, slide them in there, and we just bend them outwards.
And that's it. Wheels installed. All right, our wheels are set. Now we can install our handle. Pretty straightforward as well. We'll just slide this piece on. Line it all up together. We are halfway there. Now we pop on the walls. All right, so we're gonna use these pins to pop on the walls on these little holes right here. It doesn't look like it matters which one is which because this has clips on both sides. We're gonna line this up and just slide these in. The opening goes to the front. For that reason right there. We go. There's a cart. You can roll it like this. And now, let's lock it all up. Okay. That's pretty cool. So basically, we go in and then out. And I like to send there's a little movement here. And you can adjust these, these tightening. There's our cart. We're supposed to hold this guy up now. Oh, and I forgot. Let's put it our heavy duty rubber cover if you need. Depends what you're carrying. There you go. Looks good. forgot to measure it so let's do it right now so this thing is almost 34 inches long 18 wide and 20 and a half tall or 12 to the base so that's that the walls are seven inches compared to the other one That's the Hubber Freight one. It's obviously smaller, but this is a garden cart. I'm gonna load it up with some wood, see how it takes the weight. There we go, holds a decent amount. No issue. Works out. Very cool cart, guys. One other thing I wanted to mention on these cards when comparing the Harbor Freight one to this one. Harbor Freight turning mechanism is basically held by the screw, which when I was carrying heavy loads fell off and I had to install a new one. So that was pretty flimsy. Um, as opposed to this thing, 
where the whole assembly is connected and there's no little screws holding anything so smaller car but can technically probably carry a heavier load so if you're thinking about getting the big ones of this might be worth it